more connoisseurs of good football. They uh, want some excitement. Nigel Clough, Robbie Fowler. Bjornaby goes forward, he's got a chance, and he scores! Stephen de Bjornaby has started the party celebrations off. A goal that, dare I say, Ian Rush would have been proud of. The ball came through to Harkness, he chested the ball down. The Norwegian kept going and going. Bonner didn't come too bravely off his line, and Stigging the Bjornby scores a rare goal for Liverpool, his first of the season. And the first man to congratulate him after scoring. Here, Rudder kicks the ball forward, and McManaman's been left alone again by the Celtic defence, who have a bit of a death wish, and that's a beautiful, beautiful goal, worthy of any occasion from Steve McManaman. That had class written all over it. Well, they say people have party tricks, and if this is Ian Rush's party, that goal is going to be hard to top. Beautiful curling shot, and that had an international goalkeeper in Packy Bonner beaten all ends up. A tremendous goal from McManaman. Liverpool two up. Well, what a way to uh, prove your credentials of the day. He's up at Parkhead. Michael Thomas wins the fight in midfield to Steve McManaman. What can he produce this time? Oh, lovely little pass to Thomas. Back to McManaman, it's an own goal by McNally. Mark McNally got on the end of what was a brilliant move from Liverpool and really spoiled what should have been a special goal. But Michael Thomas, Steve McManaman, and for a touch, Robbie Fowler all involved. And Steve McManaman, who's had a hat-trick taken away from this season, has the glory taken away by the Celtic defender. An own goal, 3-0 to Liverpool. Thomas, Phil back. Defender slips. It's enough to let Clough in. And look, the beautiful pass. He had rush. Oh, dear me. Oh, that's still in his thunder. Phil gets a rollicking for me in rush. It's my night, mate. I score the goals. And Phil Babs scores his first goal in a Liverpool shirt, and he wasn't going to miss the opportunity. And Ian Rush still can't score on his big night. He did all of the hard work, though. The ball came to him. Bonner wasn't going to let him score. Closed down the gap, and Phil Babs finished it off in Rush style. And it's four. And it looks as though he's destined not to score on his own big night. Dalgleish flicks it on, and there's the well, three of the defenders have scored goals now. Bab, Bjornaby, and now Neil Ruddock. And Rushy just can't get one. Set-piece corner, and Ruddock came in with a thunderous finish at the cop end. And the joke is on the man whose testimonial it is. 5-0 to Liverpool. Liverpool team, a lovely dummy from Rush to Dalgleish. Now Rush to Harkness. Dalgleish makes a deke run. It's not a deke run, it's a famous Dalgleish run. Yes! Testimonial and the cop and the whole of Anfield reaches for the sky. It's taken a long time coming, time was running out, and how fitting it should be that the man who made the goal for Ian Rush was Kenny Dalgleish, the famous one too. The Dalgleish turn, the goalkeeper could do nothing about it, and Rush came in, and we could have flashed back what six or seven years in time for that one. And Ian Rush doesn't remember too many of his 300-odd goals, almost 400.